Today, we're going to be trying to do some of the hardest challenges inside of Theme Park Tycoon. Like building a roller coaster that goes all the way up to the height limit and then all the way down to the very bottom of the park. We're also going to be trying to build the widest coaster in Theme Park Tycoon, as well as the thinnest. Each one of these rides, I'm only going to have 20 minutes to build. And I have no idea if this is even going to be possible. So make sure you watch this video to the very end. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channels. If you anyone like Theme Park Tycoon, you will 100% like the content I make on here. And as well, 95% of the people that watch this channel aren't subscribed. So be subscribed. Anyways, let's just get straight into today's video. Alright, so the very first coaster we're going to be building today is the tallest roller coaster. Now, this roller coaster is going to go all the way up to height limit, completely maxed out, to the very lowest point on the Theme Park Tycoon map. And, uh, this one could be a pretty crazy one. So, uh, let's get building, I guess. Oh, yeah, and we also got 20 minutes. Uh, timer starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, we are going to build our roller coaster right away. Okay, some of you guys are making fun of me for using the multi-launch coaster a lot. So, uh, I think the roller coaster we're going to be using today is going to be the hybrid coaster. Wait, sorry, the hyper coaster. So, let's go ahead and place this down somewhere like right here. And uh, we're going to have to kind of speed run this one. So, uh, let's get our chain lift going. And uh, we're going straight to the clouds, as you can see. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, this here is high limit. So, we got to, like, kind of uh, snap it, I guess. I, I don't really know. Like, this is kind of a hard one to build. Okay, there we go. And uh, now we're going to go down this crazy drop. Uh, this would definitely be uh, the, the tallest coaster on Earth if it was real. And uh, every single piece here costs 2,000 cash. I might run out of cash while building this. So the next thing we want to do is uh, get our lowest point on the coaster done. And uh, I don't even know how many airtime hills we can get with this coaster, bruh. Oh, man, this coaster's huge. All right, so I'm going to, like, just kind of, like, carve this out here. I have no idea where this coaster is going to be going. So we'll, ju we'll just do that. We've already wasted two minutes on the drop on this thing. Okay, so that is the lowest point on the Theme Park Tycoon map. And uh, I just realized an issue. We are now awfully close to the border of the map. So uh, I'm thinking what we'll do is maybe a huge inversion or something. To kind of get it to go back uh, the direction it came in. So, uh, oh man, that, that is not going to work. Wait, we're going to have to like make this way more drawn out. Way more drawn out. Even higher than that. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, th this might work here. Maybe. Possibly. And uh, we only got 16 minutes to really uh, figure that out. Oh my god. This is actually the tallest roller coaster. I can't even see all of it. I don't even know if this is, like, actually... No, we gotta make it taller. Dude. Oh, my goodness. This thing's so tall. All right, we're gonna keep going. Okay, we're just gonna do a big stall here, I guess. Uh, like, wh what else do you do? Like... <laughs> okay, uh, I guess, uh, head down here. Uh, okay, we have 15 minutes, and, uh, we already wasted 100,000 just on this single inversion alone, um, which is... Oh, my... Oh my goodness, this is huge. This is huge, boys. So I guess after this, uh, I mean, big airtime hill, you know? Like, what, what else do you do on a roller coaster like this? Dude, the, this is crazy because it's like, uh, the airtime hill has to be so ginormous, uh, for, for, in order to, like, feel anything. Yeah, I, I guess that'll work. It's literally only been two elements. We've we've spent this long on just two elements. All right, I'm gonna go green, and then we're gonna twist it right here. Boom. Uh, and then I'm thinking, like, an Intimidator 305 turn right here. I called it Fury 325 last time, and, uh, some people got mad. Okay, this is a pretty violent turn here. Uh, I actually might, like, kind of readjust this a little more. Uh, you know, I, I just realized I'm pretty much making Falcon's Flight, which is a roller coaster you're supposed to open in... Supposed to open in a few years, and it is going to be the longest, tallest, and fastest roller coaster ever built. I, I think Intamin is doing it, and it looks, um... Quite crazy. I'll have the editor throw up uh, some images on screen of it. Uh, the, the thing they teased us all with was absolutely atrocious and uh, will be nothing like what the ride actually is going to be. All right, we're going uh, pretty fast here, you know, just whipping it around this turn. And I'm thinking the, the only thing left to do here is uh, go straight into the air. 
And, uh, I guess we might as well make it, like, a cool little turn or something. Like, we could do, like, a wave turn. Uh, these are always fun. Um, we also gotta get the brakes for this ride going, so I'm gonna work on that real quick, just so we can have a path backwards. Alright, so these rides are, like, pretty notorious for having huge brake sections, so... Uh, I think that's definitely cool. Oh, man, this coaster is gonna be crazy. I actually cannot wait to ride this. All right, let's do a, a little airtime hill right here, like just a speed hill. So, uh, something like this. Uh, just to let you guys know, uh, I've already spent, uh, about 400,000, uh, money on this game. Uh, I think, I think this is, like, probably the most expensive legitimate coaster I've ever made. Okay, uh, yeah, th this coaster is pretty much done now. Uh, I think the only thing that's left is, uh, kind of fixing up some of these supports, because they're, they're kind of all over the place. Okay, uh, yeah, this ride's looking pretty close to be done now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, set the brakes on this, so it's really, uh, kind of abrupt. And then the chain lift, it's gotta be way faster. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is make a tunnel for this ride. So let's just go down here, uh, wait, I gotta... I'm going a little too slow. Wait. Uh, okay, boom. So let's build a tunnel for this right over here. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, and then uh, boom, boom. Okay, that'll work. And then uh, we're going to kind of like cover this up. So like, you know, it's, it's, it's like a little bit of exposed, you know, just like... Just like that, you know? We'll kind of like dig around this side too. And uh, I kind of want to make it like feel like you're actually going into a tunnel. Do it like that. And then this side here. Uh, I'm going to actually paint this side concrete. Because I think it might look better. Oh my god, we got four minutes to actually finish this ghost here. Okay, concrete all around here. Just like that. Boom, boom, boom. Might as well paint this side concrete too. And down here. Yo, I'm gonna, like, just paint this whole side concrete right here. Build it up like that. Okay, uh, I think that's good. That, that, that is a functioning tunnel. Oh, man, this ride is crazy. I, I can't even see, like, the top of this. I, I have to go into free cam to actually get, like, the full height of this ride. Oh, man, I would love to see this in real life. Um, okay, I think the next thing, we're just gonna place down some trees just to kind of make it look a little bit nicer, just all around here. Side two, boom. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna work on a station for this one. This is gonna be kind of like a more or less basic coaster. Or, I mean, I could try real quick. Okay, we're gonna, we'll try a quick station. Alright, let's just get a row here, a row here. A row here, just like that. And then we're gonna go here, grab our frames. Uh, you guys bully me for using wood, but I'm gonna use wood this time just to make you guys mad. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go all the way around there. Boom, just like that. And then I'm gonna have this go all the way down here. And then, uh, boom, something like that. And then here, here. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, just gonna do some like cattle pen cue right here and um we're just gonna make it kind of like wrap like that and uh that's the ride boom easy easy oh that is some absolutely garbage looking pass let me like kind of paint them just a little bit uh we got we literally only have 30 oh my god we got 39 seconds oh my god oh my god wait uh let's grab bushes we're just gonna put the bushes here just like that um th this is a horrible cue th this is this is very bad but i only had 20 minutes to do this okay i only had 20 minutes to do this i i did like the the wraparound part and all that but uh you know i, c I couldn't go crazy i'm gonna just try real quick to just throw a roof on this let's see if i can do it come on come on come on come on oh my god pull 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 come on come on uh. Oh, I'm not, I'm not doing that in time. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna just do like once. No, 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 no. Uh, I, I'm just doing it. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I have to. I, I just want to get the roof on this, you know? The game glitched out. So like, you know what? It was literally only a few seconds. But uh, this is our first ride here. This is the tallest ride in Theme Park Tycoon that actually goes all the way up to height limit all the way underneath the world to the very bottom and uh this looks pretty crazy and we're gonna go ahead and ride this bad boy at the very end of the video so make sure you're watching but we have two more challenges to do next so the very next coaster we're gonna be making today is the thinnest coaster now we are gonna have to build a roller coaster that goes from this end of the park to this end of the park now i've done this challenge before and uh some people showed me that you can make coasters very thin 
down to a single cell and uh, we're gonna try that today and we're gonna do it from this side of the map to this side of the map which I don't think has been done so uh, let's get started oh yeah I can't forget the timer three two one go okay so I'm just gonna start by outlining a single line that's gonna go all the way across the map and uh, this is gonna be where we are gonna have to make a roller coaster like it cannot go outside of this line um, if it does, well, we fail this challenge. Now, uh, it's kind of got some overlay issues, and that's because, uh, you know, uh, if you guys don't remember, like, I'm talking years ago, I made the back rooms underneath this world just for the meme. Uh, actually, I, I literally just mentioned it with Vitamin, but, yeah, uh, that, that was a funny video, but... Uh, yeah, so I like there's some overlay issues and uh, it's very annoying off camera when I'm trying to destroy all of this and uh, You know I accidentally deleting it and it like shows terrain above it. I, I don't know. It's very, a very weird issue But anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and drag this all the way down just like that And uh, that should definitely be good and I want this really to go from one end of the park to the other so we're gonna try to bring this all the way across <laughs> Which, ooh, I really don't know how possible this is going to be. As you can see, this is a single rail coaster here. And we're going to have to be very strategic with every placement we make with this. So, uh, I'm going to start. We need to, like, make our boost speed very fast. And we've already wasted two minutes. So, um, let, me, let me just get started so I can stop wasting time. Okay, there we go. Station, just like that. And then we're going to do the easiest part, chain lift, you know. And we're going to have a pretty big chain lift, too. I just want to, like put that out there now wait I'm, I'm starting to notice an issue and it's gonna be for how this ride actually gets back to the station I have an idea and I'm gonna just start with the the ending of this ride so obviously we gotta have brakes you can't have a roller coaster end without brakes and um, we're gonna have to do like a weird barrel roll thing here it's gonna have to be a very tight one as you can see we're not outside of the cell so we should be good um, and then we're gonna come back down Something like this. It shouldn't have too much speed on it. So we're going to do something very tight like this. It should be able to just like kind of uh, zoom around here pretty quickly. What is happening? Why is my game glitching out like that? Okay. Weird. I don't know what's happening with this coaster. Um, okay. I it, This is weird. I'm starting with the ending of this ride for a very specific reason. Um, it, it's very bizarre, but we kind of have to. Uh, in this instance because uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to like actually get to gauge the drop and where everything should be uh, if we don't do this otherwise um, okay so uh, I think that the chain lift is gonna have to be as far over as right as we can get it so we're literally going right here like that that it's gonna have to be pretty far over to the right and we're gonna go straight up with this so uh, well not straight straight up but we're gonna go pretty high up um, because we have to make way for two lanes of uh, uh, track so it's gonna be a uh, pretty crazy and uh, I think that should be about how high we actually want this ride to be all right now that we are at the top we have the best part which is the drop so we got to make a pretty crazy freaking drop right here I mean it's got to be insane of a drop so I'm thinking something like this it should invert in on itself you know something pretty crazy yeah that, that should be good Oh my god, uh, this might be a little too tall, but uh, we'll go with it. We'll, we'll roll with it. Um, you know, there, there is no rule about going underground, so uh, I will take as much space as I can get. Okay, this ride is like actually on the edge right now. Oh my goodness. So I'm thinking huge airtime hill here. Editor, that was an editor's note. Make sure that is out of the video. Thank you. All right, we are now going to go ahead and uh, kind of wrap it up here. And uh, we got a twisty twist going on right here. Um, yeah, th that'll be a uh, pretty uh, crazy and uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that'll work uh, I'm feeling a little bold about this one. We're gonna do something cool here So we're gonna go up to the line and we're gonna do a something called a heart line roll like right here I'm gonna have to do some changes because we don't have a unlimited space for this. Okay. Yeah, that that looks pretty cool Oh, uh, yeah, I just somehow fit a heart line roll into this right after a huge inversion Oh my goodness. This is scary because uh, I'm like right on the line right now. And I have really no idea like the gauge of speed that we're heading in. Because we could be going extremely fast. We also could be going really slow. So I guess I'll do another inversion. This time uh, we'll have a stall. Oh, that is right on the line. We got to like adjust some of this heart lining here. 
Gonna make it more, uh, less heartline because, uh, we don't have the space to heartline it. Oh my goodness. I can't believe, like, I was having, like, trouble with doing, like, a 3x3. Three three. Like, I am doing a 1x1, one one, and this is pretty crazy. Uh, I guess we'll do that. And then maybe just an airtime hill here. Kind of go a little bit high. And then we'll have it come back down. And, uh, oh my gosh, it's all connected up. Oh, that, that is crazy. Uh, th this probably shouldn't be legal. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um, I'm gonna do, like, some fine-tuning to this, because, uh, there's definitely some little kinks that I want to work out, but overall, th yeah, this ride just shouldn't be legal. This shouldn't- this should not be possible! This will kill somebody! We could, like, do, like, a twist, maybe, or something. I'm actually struggling on this part a little bit, because it looks a little strange with the straight section here, but we don't have the space to really do anything with this. I mean, I guess that'll work. Yeah! Uh, oh, that drop looks a tiny bit strange. I'm gonna do a little bit of profiling on this to kind of get it looking a little better. Okay, uh, that, that looks slightly better. Still crazy and, uh, insane. Uh, oh man, I kind of want to test it. Let's just see what happens. Oh, I can't, I can't wait to ride this at the end of the video. That's gonna be just crazy. Oh, we gotta, like, set the, the speed really high. Oh, do not delete the coaster. Oh my god. Dude, Dennis is really out here trolling me right now. All right, let's see how this looks. This might be uh, too crazy. All right, it's going down the drop. Very cool. Oh, man, it is... That has a lot of speed. We might have to put, like, some brakes here. Oh, it is... Oh, it is whipping it. Oh, it is whipping it. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna whip it through. The... I don't know about that. I don't know about that one, Chief. Um, You know, let's uh, do some quick adjustments to this ride real quick. Uh, I think the first one is up that track friction maybe by 200. This here should get some breaks around the top of this. Maybe like right here, actually. We can just break this up right here. Boom. All right, let's test this again. This should work now. Or maybe we can just like, uh, I don't know if we can like shorten that. That drop looks very funky, but uh, I kind of like it. Oh, this is like a pretty crazy ride though. Oh yeah, you just like plummet towards reality for like a solid 10 seconds. All right, so you come up, you make it over that. Oh, barely. Okay, that's way better. And it breaks there, so it slowed down a little bit. All right, let's see how it does here. Um, okay, that's better. Is it gonna be good here? Ooh, a little whippy, but I can live with that. Okay, that's cool. It's very fast, and I, I kind of like that about it. Oh, that's kind of dope. Wait, how's it gonna do this? Ooh, that's a, that's a little too much. We might have to add some more brakes right here. Um, I'm honestly thinking that this part should probably just be a straight section. Like, it has too much speed here to where it should be, like, doing flips and stuff. I actually might put, like, some brakes here to, like, be totally honest with you. Like, okay, let's just... A few breaks, you know, before it gets into this crazy parts, you know, just just like that. Okay, uh, we can test this now. This should be better. Let's go ahead and start working on a station for this before, uh, you know, this one's wrapped up. So, uh, ceilings here, all along here. And uh, we have five minutes to do this, so uh, I'm going to rush just a little bit on this station. I'm sorry. Okay, we're going to go like that. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, man, this coaster is just ginormous. It's kind of fun to watch, to be honest. It's, it, it goes really fast, though. I, I don't think I was estimating how fast it would go. It's kind of hard to do on a coaster that is one by one, you know? All right, so brakes there. Some more brakes here. And then, um, yeah, I guess that's good. I could probably, like, boost the brakes a little bit more. I'm gonna do 150. We'll just see how this does. Um, but yeah, th this ride's almost done. So let's go ahead and do our station. So get our pathway wrapped up. So, um, just like that. Boom. Um, I didn't even really consider this. Uh, I have no idea how to, like, get both of these sides set up. So, uh, maybe we'll do a tunnel or something. I, I don't even know. Or actually, I think what I'm gonna have to do is, like, wrap it back here. Yeah, it'll have to go like that. Literally the only way I can make it exit, which is kind of funny to be honest. Okay, boom. Oh, that's way better. Oh, I like that. It like barely makes it through. That's awesome. And then it just goes in the brakes. Perfect. That is what I'm looking for. And we have two minutes to finish this coaster. Oh my god, I'm not even paying attention. Not even paying attention. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'm rushing this. I'm rushing this. Uh, there. Then this side here, we're gonna kind of bring up a little bit. Okay, uh, th that's just gonna be the cue. That that's gonna be the cue. Uh, we'll connect these paths up real quick. Uh, just kind of make it look nice. You know, we'll, we'll add some bushes or something here. Kind of make it look cool. Um, yeah, yeah. We're, 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 oh, man. Oh, man. This is not that good. Oh, this is not good. This is not good, gamers. All right. I'm just going to try to get something kind of basic going. Um, I'm going to literally just spam down frames. Uh, 
as soon as I'm done with these fences because they're a little crucial. All right, let's get our frames. All right, we're going to just grab these frames here. Then we're going to drop them here. Go around. Boom. And then this side here. Boom. Boom. Okay, we'll do that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, I sound like Rainbolt right now for some reason. I have no idea why. All right, we're just going to go here. Um, and then we'll get this side. Oh my god. Stop glitching out game, please. I'm gonna lose this one if I keep glitching out. Okay, thank you. All right. We're gonna have to like go all the way down here. Oh my god. I'm lagging. <laughs> this is like the worst time to lag, bro. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Uh, that I guess and then we'll do this side here. Oh my god We have a minute and 19 seconds to like do all these Dude stop the game keeps but I'm, I'm having to lower my graphics now. I'm actually having a lower I'm raging. I'm raging. I'm raging Dennis Dennis daily Dennis game creator, please I have no idea what why this happens. It's been happening for years But like if you have like high graphics uh, sometimes the game just randomly decides to just be garbage I, I don't know man i don't know this is like a completely new park with like nothing on it so like i don't know why it does this okay we're gonna like do this side now and then uh here and then yeah i think that'll be a uh, it for the ride um okay we're, we'll take that uh and then we're gonna get some poles real quick let's grab some poles um if we can um oh my gosh I, i'm getting deja vu i'm getting deja vu all right we're, we're going with these poles they, these poles look so bad but we don't have time to like actually spend on like you know like wool theming okay uh oh my god uh i like uh roof roof come on okay uh, and then uh brown wood uh i'll take that uh okay that that's the ride that's the right it is done i could have probably done more but uh you know it, it just didn't work out fully maybe next time i'll do one where instead i'll use a uh, half a cell um, and I think that would actually be the thinnest coaster in Theme Park Tycoon. I know Timon did this, but he did it before where, like, it didn't have this grid unlocked, so it is actually longer than his. But, uh, we still have one more challenge to do, which is the widest coaster. And then we'll ride our two other creations we just made. So, let's go to that. Now, I don't have all of the plot slots unlocked, but we're gonna try to make it extremely wide and very, very long. I have no idea if this is even gonna work, but we also only have 500,000 cash, so we also have to be pretty conservative with money. So, uh, let's get started. Timer starts in four, three, two, one. Okay, uh, we are gonna start. So, obviously, I feel like for a long coaster, we gotta go with the wooden coaster, you know? The wooden coaster is really, uh, one of the longest coasters to ever exist in, uh, you know, we, we gotta, like, make it. Like, the, some of the longest coasters on the planet are the wooden coaster. And we already did a hyper coaster, so I don't know if I'd want to do another uh, hyper coaster for this one. But uh, I think I'm going to have this ride kind of just start down here. And then it's going to turn back um, somewhere around here. Yeah, that, that'll work. Uh, maybe we'll have, like, just a little hill, because why not? You know, just to start the ride, get it going. And then um, we're going to go straight into a chain lift. All right, pretty tall chain lift here because this is going to be a very wide coaster. And uh, we, we need this coaster to have a lot of speed for a while. So uh, I think we this should be good. I mean, we'll, we'll go with something like this. And then uh, we're going to have it turn here. Um, okay, so I'm thinking uh, something sort of like... Let's see if we can literally just make like a wall around this park like attack on titan but like you know uh this is a big wooden coast here all right so out of this uh little thing we're gonna go into a uh, uh, whoa how steep can we get this drop to that's 76 degrees wait we can get it to a maximum of i think 76 wait how steep is the drop on El Toro? I'm, ju I'm just a little curious. 76 degrees. Wow, that that's kind of funny. D Dennis did his research. That's actually really cool to see. I'm, like, totally honest. Okay, we're going to try to see if we can get it to go 76 degrees, because why not? All right, here we go. Oh, I think... Is that 76 degrees? It looks like it. Oh, that is very, very steep. Yeah, okay, we'll go with this. Also, there's, like, a bug in Theme Park Tycoon, by the way, where, like, you know, it doesn't show, like, the rest of the wooden supports once a wooden coaster gets cer to a certain height, which is kind of strange. I wish they'd fix that. Okay, we're gonna do a, a big airtime hill after that crazy first drop. 
And uh, this one might like throw you out of your seat a little just because uh, I love like rides that do that. Actually, no, nah, we're not. Gonna. But we'll, we'll have it do a huge airtime moment right here. Something like that, I guess. And uh, we'll have it come back down. Oh, man, this is a, already a very wide looking coaster, but uh, not as wide as Kosi's mom. Uh, that is uh, extremely wide. Speaking of Kosi, he now edits for my uh, other channel. If you guys haven't checked it out, uh, it's called Schlep. Uh, you guys should subscribe to it. We're getting really close to 100k on that channel. Okay, another big airtime moment here. I'm going to do something kind of uh, funky here, though, because we have some unused space over here. So, obviously, another airtime hill. But we're going to come down right around here, and we're going to try to fit in a helix if possible, just kind of like around here. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, I'll take that. That looks kind of cool. Just so we're utilizing every ounce of uh, space we get with... Uh, this ride so out of our big helix kind of big we're gonna do another airtime hill this one i want to be kind of a more spaced out like kind of hill where it like takes a second to like fully grasp it and uh i just thought of a really good idea for a video what if i did a video where uh we make a roller coaster and it has to go to each plot that would be crazy i don't even know how i would do that but that would be pretty funny and we'd probably have to be like one of the longest coasters in theme park tycoon but i mean uh this coaster here is getting pretty close to that um okay we're gonna kind of like just have it kind of uh go a little bit slower around here it's still gonna have a lot of speed but it will start slowing down here uh i think i'm gonna actually make the like brakes for this ride because uh why not okay um Guys, I, I think I made uh, the widest coaster in Theme Park. Oh my goodness, this thing is huge. It's actually kind of laggy because of all of the track supports all around the park map. Now, uh, I have no idea if it's going to be able to complete this layout. Uh, I definitely think it'll get very close. Uh, I kind of want to watch it go, but uh, yeah, th this is a huge roller coaster. I mean, it goes long, very long. I mean, bro, look at how long it's taking it to go up this lift hill. Oh, my goodness. Come on, hurry your butt up. Go, go, go. What are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I, I'm going to like, take a nap while this thing's going up. It's taking forever. I'm going to definitely adjust that. I hope it'll actually have enough speed to, like, do this little turn here. All right, here it goes. Uh, okay, it's going over the lift hill. Yep, very cool. Okay, let's see what happens next. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is a, a very steep drop there. Um, let's see how, like, fast this thing gets going. Okay, it, it can make the first hill. If it can make that first hill, I think it can pretty much do the whole layout. Uh, we'll see how much speed it has going into this next hill. Let's see. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's definitely got the whole layout. But, man, it is just hurtling through this layout. Look at that turn. Oh, my goodness gracious. Coming out of that big turn into a huge airtime moment right there. And then got a little bit of twist. A little bit of a twisty hill, kind of out of your seat moment. And then uh, another one, sending it right back over this way. And then uh, right into the brakes. Yep, just like that. That's the ride. Uh, definitely gonna have to work on that brake speed. Um, okay, so this ride is, like, pretty much functional other than the chain lift issue, which I will fix right now. And uh, the brakes as well. So let's get the brakes working. And then uh, we have eight minutes to work on a station for this, which should be kind of cool. All right, well, let's get working on a station. So we're going to do ceilings like this. And the people who keep complaining, I only make wood or only use wood for wooden stations. Well, this is a wooden coaster. So, like, you know, I kind of have to do wood on this one. Like, what else would I use on a wooden coaster? You want me to use metal? Well, that wouldn't be very wooden, you know? All right, so we're going to do, like, a quick little switch back right here. And then uh, the, the entrance will be probably right there. Let's do brown wood all around. And then um, we can do that. Boom, bada, bow. I like that. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. We don't want guests entering. Uh, do, do not enter here. we got to do it one way. Um, okay, now they will not enter. We're going to do that all around here. Okay, boom. And we'll do the station uh, like that. Oh, man, this is a, a pretty huge coaster if I've ever seen one. All right, so I'm going to get all of these uh, things kind of, like, wrapped up here. So we're going to want to do that on this side. Boom, boom. And then uh, we're going to do a roof on this. So I'm going to work on the roof first because I kind of want to make this roof uh, a so little bit So we're going to do mesh on either side. So something like this, maybe? Yeah, I think that might look cool. And then uh, here like this. And then uh, this side here, we're going to go up. And then we got to do our roof. So let's just beam, 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 beam all the way down just like that. This side over here. And then um, maybe like something like 
this down here like i don't know we could do that and then like another layer like right here i don't know oh that kind of looks interesting that looks interesting enough for me and then uh we obviously got to put frames all around this oh my god we got three minutes okay i gotta like i gotta stop the dilly dallying i gotta like kind of hurry this one up all right uh go all the way around here boom boom all the way around just like that there we go Okay, this one's actually a pretty cool looking station. This is on like one of the, the better stations I've done. Definitely the best station I've done in this video. Let me grab some of these fences. Okay, I think this is almost done. Oh, I, I like completely forgot to do the uh, exit path. Let me do that right now. I think I'm just gonna only have like one thing here and then have this come down here like that. Just like that. Now I'm gonna kind of like decorate this area just a tiny bit, you know, because I want it to look a little nice. I think so pine trees would look a little cool like just kind of spruced around here just like that some of these trees and uh just an open pit everywhere else uh on this ride oh i should probably add some lights in here let me like let me get some lanterns or something um i guess we could do something like this we could do poles oh god wait i put the off-grid ones wait i'm gonna like scooch this over i'm gonna go one fourth okay um okay boom 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 oh uh, it's a little bit brighter in here Oh my god, wait. I want to put like one more. I'm just gonna, I'll do that. No, 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 no. Uh later, later, later. Uh uh G. Boom. Easy. Okay. This uh this one is pretty much done now. So yeah, that has been uh, all of our builds that we've done so far and now I think it's time to ride them. Starting with this bad boy, which uh is pretty crazy. Let me like restart this cuz I don't feel like waiting for it to go across the entire theme park tycoon map. So uh this station pretty proud of it it looks definitely pretty cool oh i forgot to do like wooden walls whatever whatever you, d d pretend you don't see that other than that though the roof looks kind of interesting we are climbing so high up and i just realized i have my camera or i still have the timer there oh my gosh look at how high up this is oh my gosh this is a long coaster okay here we go now we now we're coming around the the big bend right here whoa oh my god big drop here oh my gosh that is steep that is steep and this is loud oh my gosh wait i'm gonna lower that oh big wave turn right there you know just to kind of throw you out of your seats a little bit out of that into a very sharp banked turn here and as out of that we go up into another little wave turn hill but this is like into a helix so that's kind of cool go into this pretty sharp helix oh man you would feel the g's on that in real life and then uh, we go into this big floater hill, you know, just kind of uh, gently lift you out of your sheets. And then uh, we got this right here. We're going to go, oh, my God. And then uh, another one right here, which is pretty cool. Whoa, whoa. Uh, and then we come into a sharp big. And then we go up into this last little hill. And that is the ride. Very cool. I'm pretty proud of this one. And the brakes work. Thank the Lord. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But guys, we have other coasters that we built that we got to ride. Like the next one, which I am super excited to check out. The single rail one. All right, here we go on our thinnest coaster. The thinnest coaster I've ever made at Theme Park Tycoon. Last one I did was three. This time is now one. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely a very thin coaster. And uh, I can't even believe that this is one cell. It's pretty mind-blowing. But here we go. Oh, my goodness. We're going over. We're going down the drop. Oh, my goodness. That is a huge drop. And right out of that, a massive airtime hill. Oh, my gosh. If this is real, the airtime you get on that would be unbelievable. Now, out of that, we are going into this big twisting roll right here. It looks a little weird, but it was kind of because we were kind of cramped on space i couldn't really get rid of that uh airtime hill now we're going through the uh stall the airtime hill the little speed hill and then this little airtime hill which is pretty cool and we're coming in right hot into the station we hit some brakes because we were definitely going way too fast and we hit this half loop and then it kind of stalls out in the back rows which is kind of cool and then right into the break this is actually a solid coaster i'm not even gonna lie I i'm kind of proud of this one this one's a pretty neat little ride uh for being the thinnest coaster and mate i made this in 20 minutes which is insane but we have one last coaster to ride which is the tallest coaster in theme park tycoon that literally goes to height limit all the way underground bro i i cannot wait to ride that one 
Hey guys, so uh, the the roller coaster train is heading back to the station. I'm gonna get on board this like right now. So I'm gonna kind of speed run through this queue. I also changed the colors because uh, I know in the thumbnail it's gonna look really uh not that bold out if uh it's blue. So uh, I changed the colors a little bit. Uh, that, that's all I did. That that's all I did. Uh, I kind of uh, went over by one second, but we're gonna ride this one. This one is huge. I mean, this is literally goes to height limit all the way up to height limit and then uh plunges you back towards reality as you can see that teleported that actually marks height limit that's where i sent uh vitamin delicious to his death in the video where i sent him in the back rooms but um yeah th this is a tall one th this is probably the tallest coaster i've made in this game uh, and this coaster costs like 500,000 cash to build as well but here we go we are going down the drop oh my goodness Oh my god, you were literally falling for seconds. Oh wow. Oh. You know, you, you would probably die there, but you know what? You'll be okay, you know. And a little wake up, you know, in the morning to get that little jolt of energy. Uh, that That's the same thing, but just imagine, uh, you know, uh, every bone in your body breaking from that jolt. Okay, here we go. Now we're going into this twisty turn right here. Uh, definitely not the best bank. We only had 20 minutes. I, I could do a lot better than this. I'm sorry. Now we got this overbank here. Now we are turning back. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, going into this. Oh, yeah. We twist it. We turn it. We go in fast. And then right into this final airtime hill. I think this one goes a little fast over it. Yeah, a tiny bit. But that is the brakes of this roller coaster. And uh, that has been this ride, which is a very fast and thrilling roller coaster. So, yeah, that's pretty much been today's video. If you liked today's video, make sure you go subscribe down below. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.